what's going on my youtube family this is bruce with bruce custom motors thank you guys for tuning in to another video as the title said this video is going to be about boost leaks how do you check for boost leaks what's the best way to check for boost leaks and what are some of the symptoms of a boost leak to why you would want to check to see if your vehicle have a boost leak so first and foremost Generally, when you're running some lean codes on your vehicle, need to be a, two, a P229 code, a P1287 code, any lean codes could generally be a boost leak in your vehicle. So it's important that you identify the boost leak. So for, for a couple of reasons, one, it prohibits the performance of your vehicle. For example, if you're not getting full acceleration when you press the throttle, if you feel like you're missing a little bit of torque, it could be due to a boost leak. Let's say, for example, if your car is bucking when you're driving or hitting high RPMs, it could be due to a boost leak. Let's say that you're getting some codes for your oxygen sensor. It could be due to a boost leak. And of course, there's other things that can contribute to that. But generally, nine times out of 10, it could be due to a boost leak. So before you spend money on big major parts like changing the O2 sensor or changing charge pipes, it's always good to check if you have a boost leak first. And even if you don't have any check engine lights or you're not in a situation where your car is really hurting, but you can see that you lost a little bit of performance over time, boost leaks just happen in your vehicles. I mean, nothing lasts forever. So, you know, a lot of times when they're servicing your vehicle, you know, the big service there, they're checking, you know, for hoses, they're checking vacuum lines, they're checking fluids in general. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can check your car for boost leaks without having to do a smoke test. And that's pretty much putting smoke into your engine to see if smoke comes out of any specific areas of your engine to identify if there's a boost leak and without having to spend any money you know on a mechanic trying to figure this out so this is the quickest and the easiest way that i found and it's worked great for me um in my vehicle so without further ado let's get straight to the gym i'm going to show you guys how to check for a boost leak all right so as you can see i'm currently on obd 11 I'm currently on OBD 11 and so what you want to do is you just want to go right over here to where you see actual live data once again you want to go to live data so once you get on live data you're going to pretty much as you can as you can see they have tons of different things that you can kind of monitor which is why I think the OBD 11 is just an amazing tool to know what's going on with your car um, I'm going to be looking for um, leakage of air, uh, and I'm also going to be looking of. I'm also going to be looking at leakage of air from throttle body sensor. So once again, I'm going to be looking at leakage of air, which I just checked, and then I'm going to look for the leakage of air pre and post throttle body, just for the heck of it. So these are going to be some tools that I'm going to use to determine if I have a boost leaking my vehicle without doing the smoke test or without you know taking my engine apart so as you can see the leakage of air is 0.5 which is pretty much zero i have a million boost taps in my engine so i'm comfortable with seeing 0.5 i mean it's literally nothing um, i'm going to be revving my engine as you can see and it jumped up to 0.6 so i would definitely say that um, i don't have a leak and as you can see the leakage uh pre and post Throttle body is going to be negative 1.000. That's just a default if the parameters are below zero. So yeah, that's pretty much um it, guys. That's going to be the best way you can determine if you have a boost leak in your vehicle without having to go through the trouble of doing a smoke test on your vehicle, without having to go through the trouble of actually, you know, taking throttle bodies out and just kind of searching your engine. Um, this is a quick and efficient way. It's helped me. It's helped um, um, three of my buddies identify boost leaks. You know, um, as I said, you know, before, you know, looking at the OBD-11, you can actually find out what part that you want to look for a leak on. Like if it's the O2 sensor or if it's the throttle body or if, if it's a, a, a charge pipe, you can pick the specific area that you can identify the leak or that you may assume that there's a leak and you're able to look at all of the values right here. 
I mean, OBD11 is $40, $50. Uh, I'm not sponsored by them, but it's just a lifesaver and it can save you tons of money down the way. So I just really wanted to share this with a lot of you guys out there that are DIYs and working on your vehicle. Or if you feel like your performance is not where it needs to be or you want to improve your performance, um, just over time, these are some things that you should look at to ensure that your car is just running at the optimum at its best at all times. A lot of people ask me, how is it that my car can run so much power and so reliable? Well, it's because I monitor it and I'm very proactive when it comes to my vehicle. So if I see that there's an underlying issue, I ultimately take care of it before it turns into a big or major problem. And there you go. Um, just apply that to anything else in life as well. And it's, 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 it's worked for me and it should work for you. I really appreciate all the new and the old subscribers. This is Bruce with Bruce Custom Motors. Peace, I'm out. <music>